Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to cover a little bit more about custom menus. We're going to create what's called a category page and add it to the main navigation of our website. Now you're probably asking yourself what is a category page and why would I want to add it to my site? Well if you're an active blogger you probably have quite a few categories for your posts to help organize your content for visitors to your site. And let's say, for example, that you have a particular category that you'd like to feature on your site. In our case, we actually happen to have a lot of recipes as blog posts on this site. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to create a tab inside of our main site that when you click on it only displays blog posts that have the category of recipe. Basically, what we want is a category page for the recipes category of our blog. So in that case, to do that, what we need to do is we need to go from inside of our dashboard, clicking on Appearance, and here I'm going to click on the gray disclosure triangle to expose all of the options under Appearance. And what we want to do is we want to click on Menus. And here in the menu section of our dashboard, you can see that we have a custom menu created called Main, which is visible right here under Primary Navigation. So the main menu is a custom menu that we have created for our site. If you're unsure about custom menus, then please take the time to check out our video on creating custom menus for your WordPress site. Now, here is our main menu, and what we'd like to do, obviously, is add a tab to show only the recipes blog posts. So if we scroll down here, we can see that one of our options is categories. Currently, it's only showing us the most used categories although we could view all or we could even do a search if we have quite a few categories and we need to search for the one we're looking for. But in this case it's pretty simple to see that the recipes category is right on top so we're going to put a check box next to that and then we're going to click on add to menu. And now if we scroll up we can see that in fact recipes now is a category inside of our menu. And we're just going to go ahead and rearrange that just so we can move it above the blog because we do want to feature this content. So we'd like people to see this option on their main menu before they actually see the blog option. Once we've done that, all we need to do is click on Save Menu. And now that our menu has been updated, we're just going to click on the name or title of our site to go to the front page. And here you can see that in our main navigation, we now have recipes as an option. And if we click on recipes, we see that we are on the category archives for the category of recipes. And if we just scroll down here really briefly, we can see that what we've actually done is we've just filtered out or sorted out all of our blog posts with the category of recipes. So you can see there's probably quite a few interesting ways that you could use this. You could make it appear as if you have maybe as many as 5 or 10 or 20 different blogs on your site that are actually all one single blog but are using categories to display their particular pieces of content. There are also other interesting ways to use categories that we're going to cover in future posts. But for now, this is a good introduction to category pages inside of WordPress. And you can see how easy it is to add it to your main menu and how useful it is in sorting out your content. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.